Hi, my name is Pedro and this is all my function. Well, now that you already know um, a bunch of stuff about the wallet and RPC connections, let's um, take a step back and see how we can make queries to the blockchain and get information from it. This is going to be very important on our app because I want to query if we can have a GM or if we can have a GN or if we're going to just burn our friends. Again, if you didn't understand what I just said, you just uh, have to go to the GM or die website down below and understand the concept of the DAP. Right, so let's go to the Polkadot.js Explorer and see how we can make these queries there. All right, so I think that you remember that we want to build something uh, similar to this. And for now, we want to know when it's going to be GM or GN, good morning or good night. And if we put, if we burn friends while it's on this state or this state, we are just going to burn it. If I do it right now, I'm going to sacrifice 10 friends. Then it's going to ask me for my, um, this is a burner account that I'm using. I'm going to approve. Then it's going to come back and it's going to await for the block and I'm going to receive one GM back. But as you can see, this doesn't care about the hour that we are at right now. It cares about the GM time. And the GM time is different from our time like um, that we understand because they wanted to build it in a way that it's always going to be good morning for some people and good night for some people. So if they use the same time zones and things like that from our real world, some people would never be able to get GM or GN. So in this case, they created a way to query how long it's going to be. And of course, as being a meme chain, you already know probably the number that's going to be. Okay, so this is the Polkadot.js app. Um, it's basically a way for you to interact with RPCs using an interface. I'm going to drop the link below. And I want a parachain that is GM and I can use any of these nodes here. Um, by the way, you see these nodes and you remember that we added one RPC link here. Well, I'm using then this RPC here, BLD nodes. And you can, I can also get the Limo or Terabio DAO uh, one. I'm going to use the uh, BLD that is the same one that I'm using on the DAP itself. And then I'm going to make the switch. And then here I have, uh, it would usually come to this screen where I have the last block uh, that was created, the target and the total insurance of friends, that is the token, uh, which session, last event, blah, blah, blah. What I care and you probably will care too is like the chain state. And here, remember that we did a timestamp now on our application that is here. So api.query.timestamp.now. Well, we are doing this now on their interface. You see, it's an enormous number. And on our DAP is the same thing. I think that it cuts even some numbers because the number is too big and we have to add big numbers to handle it. But anyway, what I want to um, do now is, and it's very cool that the queries, they keep on the interface after you pass, so you remember them. Yeah, what I really care about this one is I want to get the period length, and the period length is actually 690. So at every 690 blocks, it changes the, um, changes the wheel here and it goes from GM to this that is burn, then GN, then this this burns. So basically that's how the DAP works. So this period length is something very important for our DAP, right? And another thing that is very important for our DAP is the balance of the user. So to do that, 
I want to get this query here and I want to get this exactly uh, amount for the balance on his account. In this case, it's the currencies. Yes, I want actually currency time period. Yes, morning. So if it's morning or night, uh, I can burn. Otherwise, I can't. I think that that's the simplest way that I can think of it. Okay, so this can be morning, night, or I think that evening and afternoon. Um, and we can only get GM or GN at night or morning. And this is the period length. I don't want to build anything with the period length right now. I just want to get it just to show you how to get a constant. And then I'm going to get um, this morning or night or evening or whatever. Let's see. Um, all right. So this is a query because it's here on the storage query dot currencies dot current period time. So let's do it on our code. I'm going to get it here. So I want the uh, period. And I'm gonna have a mapping. So let, let me create a state for it. Um, period and set period. And then the period can be a use state. And this can be morning, night, evening, or afternoon. And it's going to start as nothing because I don't know the period until I do this. So let's get the period to get the period. I have to await API dot query dot currencies. Um, and I already forgot the call current time period um, dot current time period. Um, and yeah, this period will probably be in a uh, Rust type. So I can just do two primitive here and let me console log the period. Um, okay, so it's morning. It means that we can burn friend to get a GM. Um, but I want to actually do something. I don't want to pass it directly to my app. I'm going to make a transformation of it. So it's going to be period that is going to be a string um, to string. Actually, it's already a string, but it doesn't recognize it um, as string. And then I'm going to make it to uppercase because this is going to be to uppercase and then I'm going to transform this into a type and then here period and I'm going to pretend that I know exactly all the types by the way the code for this is open source so you can literally go to the chain and look for morning, night, and etc., and get the exact values. But I'm going to assume that is morning, night, and evening, because on their um, on their website, on their explanation for it, they have a a saying of evening and afternoon. By the way, you can ask them on the Discord if you want to. But I will just assume uh, this is as period. So if I transform this to uppercase, it's going to be one of these. And I'm going to pass it to the period. So set period is going to be parsed period. Uh, by the way, let's make it. Um... Nah, OK, let's keep it this way. Um, and this is going to be parsed period. And, you know, this whole thing here is just to show you your connected address. But then the actual app will live here um, because this is where you have your account selected and everything running, right? I'm going to just put the period here. 
and let's see. I'm going to connect. It's already consoling morning. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Because first, um, the API was setted. And second, is that I don't have to have a connected wallet to make queries. Because queries are just a current state of the DAP at that moment. Meaning that you don't have to sign anything, you don't have to do anything, you just have to query the blockchain. So yeah, I don't need to connect my wallet to see it. So that's why it's showing. But let's connect it, select my account, and then it would show here. Um, let's see, uh, if selected account, Oh, and this, I just, bar, yeah, set period, parse period. I deleted it. You probably saw. Yeah, so that's morning. So let's do it again. Connect, choose wallet, and it's morning. All right. So, yeah, I can be wrong about this. And if I am wrong, please correct me on the comments. So, yeah, I think that we have already a query. So this is how you do it on the interface from Polkadot.js and how you can do it on your DAP. All right, so now you know how to use the Polkadot.js DAP to kind of um, move along on the RPC to see all the methods and you can query it to see what it does and etc. You can also ask on their Discord. You can do all sorts of stuff. And then we also saw how we can implement it on our DAP. But this doesn't require you to sign anything. So you can actually even get another user address and you can make queries using that address. That's pretty common in development. But you can't do, um, what you can't do is basically sign a message and send it using other people's addresses because you don't have their access. You don't have their C, you don't have the uh, private key that they use to sign the message. This is a job of the extension to deal with so you don't have to care about it on the next video i'm going to teach you how to create extrinsic calls that is basically uh, the rpc calls that change something on the parachain and for this we're going to have to sign and send and do some stuff so yeah uh, i see you on the next video bye bye